Every day we turn on our faucets and get clean, safe water flowing from our taps. But do you ever wonder how that water gets to your faucet every time you turn it on? Most of us don't. Clean water is often taken for granted. And while customers getting water from the Forest Park Water Treatment Plant are receiving clean water from a plentiful supply, always remember that water is a limited natural resource. Use the water you need, but don't let it run down the drain. The Forest Park Water Treatment Plant is a state-of-the-art drinking water treatment facility jointly owned and operated by the North Penn and North Wales Water Authorities. Every day, water from the Delaware River travels to Forest Park Water to be cleaned and purified before it travels through hundreds of miles of water main into homes and businesses throughout Bucks and Montgomery counties. We are going to follow water from its source to your tap to get a better understanding of the treatment process by exploring the Forest Park Water Treatment Plant. The Forest Park Water Treatment Plant is located on land that was home to the Forest Park Amusement Park in the early to mid-1900s, which is how the treatment plant got its name. The park was a popular picnic spot with rides and hosted many major attractions until it closed in 1968. Throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, groundwater shortages resulted in dangerously low water supplies. Mandatory water restrictions in the summer months became a routine part of life for customers of North Penn and North Wales Water Authorities. The two authorities joined forces to bring their vision of a surface water supply to residents in Bucks and Montgomery counties and to put an end to water shortages. Construction of the Forest Park Water Treatment Plant was finished in 1994 and was designed with, at the time, state-of-the-art treatment processes and the ability to produce 20 million gallons of water a day, and later increased to 30 million gallons a day. In 2007, Forest Park Water was retrofitted with membranes, the most up-to-date filtration process. The plant was also expanded to provide up to 40 million gallons of water a day to meet future water needs. This amount of water can fill up 60 Olympic-sized swimming pools each day. The plant is able to be handled by a single operator uh, around the clock. And the reason for that is, is that it's a combination of two things. One is the technology that allows a single person to monitor and control the facility. And the other is, is to have a skilled operator. So how does it all work? Drinking water treated at Forest Park Water begins in the Delaware River, where untreated or raw water is pumped by the Delaware River pumping station through a two and a half mile transmission main to the Bradshaw Reservoir. The plant operator remotely controls the release of water from the reservoir into a pipe, which travels one mile before spilling into the North Branch Neshaminy Creek. Water then travels about six and a half miles to Lake Galena. Lake Galena is surrounded by Peace Valley Park and was built in 1970 for flood control and drinking water supply, as well as recreational use. Water diversion flows from the Delaware River are adjusted by Forest Park to control the level of Lake Galena to ensure a sufficient drinking water supply and facilitate recreational activities. Gates located in Lake Galena release water through the dam and back into the North Branch Neshaminy Creek, where it flows approximately two miles to the North Branch Neshaminy Creek intake. The intake is comprised of an inflatable rubber dam and steel bar racks. The dam creates a water pool that allows water to flow by gravity through the bar rack intake and into the raw water pump station. Excess water flows over the rubber dam to maintain downstream creek flow. In addition to the intake bar racks, traveling screens capture leaves and debris before water enters the pump station. Most treatment facilities are located on the banks of their primary water source, but Forest Park is unique for this part of the country in that the Delaware River water is diverted to the plant from miles away. As raw water enters the Forest Park Water Treatment Plant, it is pumped to the initial treatment stage of the process. First, a coagulant is added to the water 
to promote the clumping together of particles, such as dirt and organic matter, in a process called coagulation. Coagulant-treated water then enters a gentle mixing stage called flocculation, where smaller particle masses combine to form larger visible clumps called flock. The flock-laden water enters sedimentation basins, where, with the aid of special inclined plates, the majority of the solids settle to the bottom before the water flows to the next stage. Water exiting the sedimentation basins is called clarified water. Clarified water flows to an advanced microfiltration stage where microscopic particles are filtered out by submerged membranes. Membrane filtration is a more effective barrier than traditional media filters against the passage of microscopic particles, including potentially harmful pathogens. The entire membrane system consists of approximately 45 million hollow tube fibers that remove impurities larger than 0.1 microns, which is smaller than one human blood cell. The surface area of all the membrane fibers combined would cover just over 30 football fields. The filtered water leaving each fiber flows into a common pipe and is pumped to the next stage. Membrane filtration is one of this plant's most notable features and is considered the filtration technology of the future. After water flows through the membrane filters, ozone gas is added to the water. The primary benefit of ozone is its powerful disinfection potential. However, it also destroys taste and odor-causing compounds typically found in surface waters. Because ozone gas is short-lived, it must be electrically generated on-site and applied immediately. The ozonated water gets pumped to granular, activated carbon contactors, where trace amounts of undesirable organic and chemical compounds are removed by adsorptive and biological mechanisms. This occurs as the water flows down through a six-foot deep bed of carbon media. In the final treatment stage, a corrosion inhibitor is added and pH is adjusted to prevent water from leaching metals from piping in home plumbing. Chlorine is also added to maintain disinfection throughout each water authority system. Clean, sparkling water is collected in the plant's clear well, which is a two million gallon underground reservoir. Treated water flows through massive pumps where it is delivered to each authority's distribution system into a complex network of piping, pump stations, and storage tanks. As water travels through each authority system, chlorine is added at various points to ensure water stays clean and safe. 90% of water supplied to North Penn and North Wales customers is surface water that is treated at Forest Park. The remaining 10% is groundwater. Each day, high-quality water is delivered to more than 100,000 homes and businesses, while also providing fire protection for the surrounding communities. It's critical that the required volume of water is supplied every day, even in the event of a prolonged power outage. We have on site diesel engines that generate power that can supply the whole facility and operate the facility at capacity. This backup capability proved itself to be crucial in 2012 when power was lost for days following Hurricane Sandy and the plant continued to operate without interruption. Customers of North Penn and North Wales Water Authorities never went without running water during that time. The operator has a lot of different changing conditions, whether it be water quality conditions or failures of equipment, and they have to make decisions and react appropriately. The operators are of the highest license available in the state for waterworks operation. So fortunately, we're lucky enough to have uh, wide-ranging, skilled people here that can not only take care of the equipment, but respond in case there is a failure very quickly. And that's what, what keeps us being able to provide not only the quality of water around the clock that we do, but the quantity as well. Excellent water quality is assured through operational proficiency and diligent monitoring. 
staff continuously monitors water using online instruments and routine process lab analysis. More advanced testing is performed by state-certified laboratories. As a result, the water leaving the plant consistently surpasses all state and federal regulatory standards. All customers receiving Forest Park water can drink with confidence, knowing that the water flowing from their taps is among the best in the country. Forest Park water, clearly the finest.